Alright, Chucksters, this isn't a drill. I finally got Don Mancini to notice me. He gave me two LOLs. Two LOLs. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Your friendly neighborhood Chucky boy here. We got two Chucky updates in the span of one week. Oh, it feels like the good old days of my channel. If you're a recent subscriber of my channel and are just clicking on this because you know me and are wondering why the heck is he paying so much attention to Chucky, I wouldn't have my channel as big as it is if it was not for the Chucky man. So until I get canceled, have to make an apology video, or just become irrelevant, we going to stay talking about Chucky on this channel. The thing we're going to discuss today, guys, is like I mentioned in my previous update on Child's Play, and with the Chucky TV series that has come to the Sci-Fi channel, Don Mancini hosted a watch-along party on Twitter, and during this watch-along, he not only released a little teaser for the Chucky TV series, he also dropped a couple of tidbits that gives us a further look of the story and plot that they're going for with this Child's Play TV series. So I'm going to need you horror fans to leave your opinions down below on what you think of this short little teaser we have do you like the logo do you like the name of the show also with the things he revealed how do you think it'll implement into the show but also leave a like down below just to show your excitement for the new chucky stuff coming in the future all right so yes during this watch along don mancini was just talking about the original 1988 child's play movie just following along i was also following along thanks for everyone who joined in and was asking me questions it was a lot of fun and just reminds me how amazing the chucky fan base is but as soon as it ended he went ahead and dropped the new logo and little teaser for the series and here you go <laughs> short sweet and not really anything different or new but that chucky laugh man it'll get you every single time i know even as soon as i saw it i was like Oh, I'm in, man. I'm in. Sci-fi, get to this show. This also fully confirms now that the title of the series will be Chucky. Don't forget, when this was all brand new, Don Mancini intended for the show to be named Child's Play. He even already had a similar logo and banner set up for this television series, but then when he found out that there was a reboot by MGM using the same name, he didn't want to get that confused, so he decided, you know what, I'm just going to title it Chucky. And you know what, I think that's probably the better name for it, because I think it'll help get the word around. When you think of Chucky, I think you only think of one red-headed fool, and I ain't talking about Rugrats. But that wasn't the only thing he dropped during this watch-along. He also gave us an inside look into what the story is going to be and how we're going to see more backstory on Charles Lee Ray, because he's already said that this television series will work as a new origin story for the character, that way people who have haven't seen all the past seven movies can still watch this with fresh eyes not really being tied down to the canon this is a side story in the Chucky universe now I mentioned at the beginning of the video how I got two lols from Don Mancini I was really happy to have that because there's a part of me that thinks that Don Mancini don't like my channel or what I do because I was a supporter and liker of the 2019 reboot but I'm also a big supporter and fan of OG Chucky so it's kind of cool to see him say lol to my post here where I said this isn't even my final form to a scene in Child's Play. And then I get LOL. Or when I said cleanest bottom of a couch I have ever seen and he responds with LOL. Those LOLs, Don. You have no idea how much they mean to me. But my non-cool flex aside, this is what he revealed about the television series throughout the whole watch-along party. I was hoping for more details because he honestly gave way more information about the television series in the interview he did the day before the watch-along. I covered that all entirely in my previous video. So if you have not watched that, I highly suggest you do if you're interested in this television series because he gave away a lot of cool information there. I'll link it in the description or card right above me. But for the one thing he decided to reveal during this watch along was during the scene when Chucky falls asleep in the first child's play he decided to comment on that saying does Chucky sleep find out definitively in the upcoming TV series and that pretty much confirmed something I did hear about the television series that I did not know if it was true or not but the way that we're gonna find out the origin story of Charles Lee Ray like we've never seen before is we're gonna go into Chucky's dreams. 
Are you setting up a whole Nightmare on Elm Street situation? Jokes aside, this is kind of an interesting way to look at the Chucky lore in something I've always wondered. He is becoming human in that doll body, so the man needs to, I don't know, relieve himself, use facilities, and obviously fall asleep. What happens inside that plastic head when he closes his eyes and goes into his dream world? Or heck, what are the dreams of a psychopath named the Lakeshore Strangler? This all probably ties back into why he's going to this small town in the television series per the plot that we have where Chucky shows up at a yard sale someone buys him and then he starts going after people in this town because I guess they have some connection to his past. The only question now is, are we gonna see Chucky as a little boy? Are we gonna see him as a teenager? Or maybe even, heck, a young adult where he's getting fresh into college or his turn into madness. This is all sticky territory because I always wonder if you reveal too much about why a person acts a certain way, does it take away the mystery? I do think it would be pretty poetic and ironic for us to look at Chucky when he was a little kid the same size as Chucky, a good guy doll he would eventually inhabit, and how those two versions would interact if we would see similarities of the way he moves around and runs, because you know it's funny to see Chucky move his little feet. It would be kind of cool to see little Charles Lee Ray as a kid. I'm gonna need you guys to leave your theories down below on what you think this means for the TV series. What will we see in Chucky's dreams? What do you think of the new logo and the little teaser trailer? Such a great time to be a horror fan. We're talking about the new Scream sequel, Scream 5. We have updates on this Chucky TV series. And tomorrow, I'm going to bring you guys an update on Wally's Wonderland. Whew, just, it's a good time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.